Yeah, I figured if I never made one, it would never fucking get done. I'm the only one. <laughs> At least I'm the point man on this project. Today, today is Sunday, September 12th, 2021. I am your host, Alex, of the Corporate Cowboys Podcast, powered by Incorporating Associates. Today's episode... Let's see, what should today's episode be? Kind of just a recap, just a recap in terms of uh, my interaction via social media, what the world is looking like. Whole lot of good stuff, whole lot of good people, whole lot of fucked up people too. But hey, that's the world. Let them do what they do. And uh, if what they do is predictable, then they're exploitable what they do can be taken advantage of can be used to your advantage at the end of the day it's about having made it through whole and not losing a piece of your soul not compromising your values not compromising your ethics why? because your ethics are what make you a professional. Your ethics are ultimately what define you as a person. A lot of people think that somebody's private life can bleed into their professional work and impact impact their work in terms of quality. But that ain't always true. Really. It's somebody's professional life that informs their private life. It's their means. Their means for acquiring resources, their means for getting paid, their means for being able to make connections, their means of productivity. Now, that's a little hard to conceptualize for... uh, for my younger demographic who maybe have never had a job, who maybe have never had a manager, or who maybe have a job but have never managed, have never been in a position where they had to supervise or oversee the work get done. And for those of you that haven't, I would implore, I ins- I would insist that you find a way to advance, that you find a way to move up. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. Just make yourself dependable. Make yourself useful. Every now and then you want to interject. It doesn't even have to be a good idea. Just have to interject some motivation. You have to be enthusiastic about the work that you do. If you're depressed for whatever reason, seek help. If you're unmotivated for whatever reason, seek help. That's why this podcast is more like a self-help like a self-improvement, like a uh, non-profit educational resource. It's an outlet, if you will. Why? Because helping you helps me. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, I have the potential to create clients from my audience. So long as I see you, so long as I hear you, so long as I recognize that you are improving and becoming a better person, a better professional for something I might have had a hand in, it's all worth it. It's all worth it. Some think that that's a little too narrow-minded. That's just one track. That's just one aspect of life and that I'm dismissing or ignoring every other aspect of it. I'm dismissing and ignoring every other facet to life. Having a family, having kids. It ain't much. It ain't much, but it's honest work. Or so the meme goes. Right? Because sometimes it ain't even honest. (laughs) It ain't even honest. 
and I mean that in, in terms of uh, of uh, folks who might not ever see it coming can fucking get it. Folks who truly, who truly believe that they're innocent in in the matter, True, who truly believe that they're just quote unquote doing their job. They end up getting caught up in the crossfire. <laughs> well, shit, man. Those are just repercussions. Those are just repercussions for not having gotten your head out of the sand, for not having strived to be something better. And even then, I'm, I'm highly prejudicial. Is it prejudicial? I'm extremely prejudicial? No. Not extremely prejudicial, extremely discriminatory. Why? Because I take things on a case-by-case basis. I'm not just going to end somebody's livelihood willy-nilly because of prejudice. I mean, if it's something categorical, then maybe. If it's something categorical like uh, parasitism or some kind of predatory behavior then yeah, absolutely. But if I'm able to discern, if I'm able to discriminate, if I'm able to identify the good in somebody or the good in their conduct and a positive result from their action, I mean judge, jury, and executioner right here. (laughs) I volunteer for that. I pretty much got voluntold my first time. Sunday is a day for relaxation, or so they say, right? And uh, truth be told, it, it should be. It should be a day to unwind. But it should also be a day to recuperate those reserves of energy that have been depleted. The reserves of emotion, of creativity, of resilience, of brilliance that might have been expended throughout the week. And it just means that you're working a different muscle so to speak because in reality there are no days off shit if there's no rest for the wicked you think I'm gonna take a fucking day off come on who are you fucking kidding (laughs) it's no use it's no use trying to get away it's no use trying to escape Escapism only works for so long until you run out of road, until you run out of quarter. This is parentheses S, until you run out of quarters to hide in, until you run out of space. Sooner or later, you will have to turn and face conflict, to turn and face challenges to turn and face opposition evil if you will if you want to make it a category if you want to make it a a categorical imperative I guess sooner or later you'll have to make a move And if you wait until you're too old, or if you did not sow the seeds, if you did not till the earth beforehand and sow the seeds, water and fertilize, you'll you'll show up empty-handed. You will come up empty-handed. And uh, that's a sight to see in itself. I've worked with plenty of individuals who, when the time came, 
They couldn't do much else but fold. Paper tigers, if you will. But hey, there's an outlier. There's an outlier in every tier of life. There's an outlier through every walk, through every path. There's an outlier in every group. Where I've met individuals who've had nothing going for them. Who've had nothing going for them. And yet still, they've managed to create something from nothing. Who've still managed to hustle something out of nothing. And yeah, it it requires flexibility. Literally. Elasticity. To be able and spread yourself thin enough and still maintain control. Still maintain influence. Still maintain value in the face of discord. Still keep to your convictions. Because you can't please everybody. Not you, at least, personally. And that's how a hustler thinks. A hustler doesn't think, oh, I have to please everybody. A hustler just knows everyone wants to be pleased. And in that idea, in that notion of what it means to hustle, (laughs) the hustler comes up with opportunity. And it ain't that hard. It ain't that hard. The hard part is following through. Squeezing the trigger is not that hard. The hard part is having to live The hard part is living after having to squeeze the trigger. After having squeezed the trigger. But, um, requires a balance. It's a balancing act, ultimately. You have to know how to, uh, Damn, the more I talk about it, the more I realize that it comes down to having that life experience. What it means to create a reputation, to have a reputation and be able to double dip, create a reputation with two or more individuals at the same time for unrelated matters. It just means being real, just means being yourself. And if you align yourself, if you align your values, There's nothing you can't do. There's nothing that could go wrong. If you align your values with what is just naturally supposed to happen, with natural law, you'll see. The follow through is easy. The follow through is easy, especially after we've been conditioned for so long folks have been traumatized for so long as to what success looks like as to what success feels like and tastes like that it's it's hard to even visualize it for some they uh, might suffer from I believe it's called the helpless the helpless dog syndrome (laughs) where You lock a dog in a cage and you beat it, but you feed it in the cage so as to inflict pain and at the same time provide sustenance. The next time the cage is open, the dog won't want to come out. Why? Because they're so tied. They're so tied to the feeling of having their need, their immediate physical need met inside of the cage that the pain that 
that the pain inflicted on them inside of the cage is almost worth it. Is almost worth it. And I say almost because obviously they aren't fucking laughing. They don't fucking laugh when you beat them. <laughs> they don't fucking laugh like humans do. They're crying. They cry out. And it's almost worth it to them. They learned not to resist. They learned not to bite, not to fight back. So what matters to them is staying alive. We've been conditioned to accept. We've been conditioned to accept and be complacent and be content with what little is provided to us initially. Very few individuals, either through school or through their families or through their friends, are able to, how do I say, create the friction enough to spark an idea or to spark a movement in their group of friends. Most of the times it's just to go out to the club and have fun, get fucked up, get wasted, Go home with somebody of the opposite sex or whatever your preference. And what, do it all over again? Growing older makes you realize of that waste of time. You get a little bit of pains. You get some pains. When you were younger, they were growing pains. And when you're older, they're just fucking pains, man. You realize, damn, I could, I could do a fucking backflip when I was 21, fucked up, drunk, drugged out. And now that I'm 31, I wish I could do a quarter of the physical activity that I was doing when I was 21. God damn, I was active. Don't get me wrong, I still move. I just have to move smarter. I have to be more creative. I have to be more fluent, more fluid. My lubricity in social settings has to be of a caliber, has to be of a fucking caliber, unrecognizable. To most. Unrecognizable to many. To almost everybody. Why? Because I'm still a hustler. I'm still a hustler. And what I'm doing is I'm creating a reputation. I'm creating... I'm establishing and building rapport. I'm creating associations. I'm creating a network. On the low... Or on the high, even. Of consummate professionals. Of individuals who would... Who would bet their livelihood... In order to double it. You got, you got, you have to go all in... To double up. That's the only way it works. In order to double up, you have to be committed... Completely and wholly. But shit, what can you say? It's Sunday. Now I gotta get ready for work. It's gonna be an early weekend for me. Starting tomorrow. <laughs> I'm fucking... I'm, I'm Monday like it's Friday, you feel me? It's gonna be an early weekend. Just killing the fucking game. Visit us on Instagram. That's incorporating dot associates underscore AI. You can donate via Patreon. You can subscribe. I'll be uploading episodes soon. If you want to donate directly and keep the operation nonprofit, 
through that paypal.me slash corporate cowboys. There's also a cash app and a Venmo. They're in a link on the Instagram page. Follow, follow through, follow up. Place your bets. Bet that. I bet you a dollar. Bet you a dollar I die doing what I love. Damn, that's a bet. But then, what's in a dollar? What can I say? It's Sunday. Damn, Alex. Pretty deep for a fucking Sunday. Yeah, because I won't be doing much thinking tomorrow. Just a bunch of fucking squeezing. (laughs) Ha, ha, ha.